You know what he said he eats before his Super Bowls? Ch- children. <laughs> Full size fucking children, dude. I know what <laughs> an entire cow. Like, what's the answer, dude? I don't know. A, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and chocolate milk. Oh, that makes sense. And that sounds like milk? that sounds like some Amherst, New York shit, dude. That's what I'm pretty sure that's what they do up there in fucking Amherst. My mom and dad packed me that for the fifth grade. I didn't think it was gonna be like a football. That's preparation. what fuels the best athletes on the planet. Well, peanut butter is a, a super a great protein. Yeah, for but energy. what about Nesquik? Isn't that kind of like oh Nesquik? Quick, I get you. I get you now. Now I know why you're fast. But Rob, I I heard I heard you're feeling the best you've ever felt uh, in your days, and I know, you know, you had a little stint where you had some fun. You you partied uh, in the off season, you know, in between games or whatever. You know, I wasn't there, but I heard. Uh, but now, has the PB and J diet led you to become this super athlete, or, or or how are you feeling, and what's your secret? You know, I'm feeling really good, man. I'm going on my 20th game. This year, and I actually never played 20 games in my lifetime in the NFL because uh, we usually, you know, my first nine years, I've always had a bye week in the playoffs, which is incredible. So I never played on the wild card weekend. So this is the first time I'm going to be playing 20 games in a season. And it's also the first time I have completed a full season since about 10 years ago in 2011. So uh, that's just incredible. I'm definitely super proud about it. You know, that was one of my goals coming in is just to play every game, be consistent every game. Um, and I would just say, you know, just you live and learn. Uh, there's some, you know, there's some times where I was like, oh, man, I should have done things differently. But now this is the chance to do it. This year was a chance to do things, uh, you know, that didn't really go the way I wanted to go back in the day. So it's about, you know, eating healthy, taking care of your body more, making sure you get the proper sleep because as an athlete, going into your 30s, you definitely got to watch out and you definitely got to take care of yourself more. It's not like you're 21 years old. I can tell you my uh, resume at 21 years old, it was 100% totally different than what it is at 31 years old. I was out after every game, even Friday nights. Now it's like, man, after the game, Friday night, can I get some extra treatment? What can I do? Some extra sleep. So just making sure you're ready to go uh, week in, week out, you know, when you're in your 30s. So, so Rob, we, we talked about it earlier before you jumped on, but does that mean you will not be at Shrine Nightclub this time after Super Bowl number six dropping 100 Gs in the club? Well, hold on, hold on. That's after the Super Bowl, so you never know what may happen. <laughs> I can't make any promises there. But, you know, leading up to the Super Bowl, I will not be there. I'll be trying to shine on the field. Woo!